With Thanksgiving winding down, many people are going to jump right into the busy holiday shopping season, which officially kicks off tomorrow with Black Friday. But as our Nick Starling is showing us, the tradition of getting a head start on deals is changing. Thanksgiving night, you typically see long lines of people outside stores like here at Best Buy snaked around the building trying to find those early Black Friday deals. That's not the case anymore, and this could be the norm. The persistent rain on Thanksgiving kept many people inside, and parking lots at usually popular shopping places around Parks Mall in Arlington silent. Some people came here in hopes of finding an open store, only to be disappointed. I lost one of my earrings, so I was going to come buy some more earrings. With most stores closed, people try to find other indoor activities to do. I have a little one. He's three and a half. So he was like looking to, you know, do stuff. And, you know, with everything being closed, we were kind of struggling as to what we would do. Major big box stores such as Walmart, Target, Best Buy, and Kohl's announced in 2020 during the pandemic they went and open on Thanksgiving to limit crowds. And that policy still continues. The times have changed a little bit, and that I think people are like wanting to stay more at home and not as focused on going into stores and just maybe doing a lot of like online shopping. It's also a benefit to those who typically had to work on this holiday. Got a chance to enjoy Thanksgiving, spend time with friends, family. Instead of working, it's pretty nice. Now, other factors such as staffing remains a challenge for retailers. They don't want to have to really uh, overstaff. The retail operations and to hard to find labor at the right prices. And at the same time, shoppers are not necessarily waiting for just this opportunity to go in store and buy. Dr. Venki Shankar, a marketing professor with Texas AM University, adds some retailers already started offering deals early and will do so even after Black Friday and Cyber Monday, with inflation and supply chain issues lingering. All of these are creating opportunities for retailers to make sure that they have their sales covered. According to Bankrate.com, 59% of people will participate in Small Business Saturday, compared to 56% on Black Friday. Some telling us this day should be about spending time with those you love and not at the stores. Sometimes we lose uh, what's important, you know, and it's not about the shoes and the gifts and all that. Just sitting at home, spending time with family. So to me, actually, it's a good thing. While it's quiet now, it's a different story tomorrow with retailers expecting large crowds for Black Friday, which is like their Super Bowl. In Arlington, Nick Starling, CBS 11 News. Yeah.